director for the short film um, Sofa and uh, it is an exciting romantic comedy that we thought of starting with. It is basically our first project uh, that we're working on in Sangli Theatre. Uh, after we, we did a stage play and someone came to us and requested that, guys, can't you do something that you can put on YouTube? Can't you do something that you can do for us so that we can see, so that we don't wait for, for a, an event like this so that we come and see you? So that's when we thought of what will happen if we, we engage into acting. Now, um, before we even thought of, of trying to find out all the skills, elements that are required, we then said to ourselves, let's create uh, something and do what we, what we think we can. And after that, from there, we'll then develop uh, going forward, trying to look for, for, for ways in which we can improve. So Masofa is our first project and uh, we regard it as a development project. It is not a project that we are actually looking at, at and we are saying, yeah, this is the best project ever. Yeah, uh, it's not it's not something like that. Um, it's, it is a project that we're looking at as, as, as a project that is going to, it's a learning curve that is going to teach us quite a number of things. Uh, basically, the script as it flows, it is a script of a guy by the name Troy, who is the main character, who is a brother and a church brother uh, in that context. And he's someone that is so, he's humbled and, and he's a leader, he portrays leaderships and he's the chairman for, for, for his province. And they depend on him, even other small regions, they depend on him. So he's someone who always has it on point. But um, we also wanted to show something that in as much as a brother can be powerful and so spiritual, there comes that element that that kind of a brother falls in love. And it is not a sin that that brother falls in love, but it is something that is, it is normal that uh, biblically so even, even Paul actually uh, mentions it. And so, so that's one of uh, the elements that we wanted to portray in this film. Uh, and uh, the sister that is being so far, the name is Sister Lynette, uh, who acts as Angela. And uh, one thing that I like about her portrayal with Angela, she more like uh, relates to her personally because she's she's she, she's a calm person. She's not someone that speaks too much, and she's she's someone that is very very responsible when it comes to the work of God. We also have got Angela's friend. Uh, Angela's friend is not someone that doesn't love God. Is someone that believes God, but is someone that does not understand the operation of the system and to her the system doesn't work. She just portrays that kind of a person that is committed to God but speaks too much, um, is someone who's opinionated and we also have the elders the way in Brother Troy confides and it's sort of like they are his counselors and he goes to them way before he even thinks of going to, to Masofa. He goes, sits down with them and they get to discuss uh, quite a number of issues so basically that's that's just that's just the framework of the film it is just a short film that uh, is talking about a guy who goes and uh, finds struggles to find words that he can tell the sister that no I'm, I'm, I'm in love with you but um, uh, as I said before the reason for us doing this um, it was mainly just because we wanted to get to to, to get the attention of people we're looking forward to hear what people are going to say about uh, this film. Um, the Soundgate Theatre initiative is what we're trying to do is we're trying to to create Christian content that is not cliche because I've noticed that most of the Christian films that happen they speak about one thing it's either it's faith uh, healing and and it's either the person is a sinner and it's 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 good and it helps us but there are quite a, there are a lot of things that are within the Bible that haven't been ironed out there are quite a number of things like the relationship between spirituality and one's one's life how do you connect them these are things that uh, haven't been discussed yet so that's our main uh, objective as Soundgate Theatre. We want to try and address certain issues that are not being addressed, but they are very important. So that's what we 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 hoping for. Um, the cast that we had uh, for for this film, uh, the cast was uh, <laughs> these are just guys that just said no we want to work with you guys and we just want to have fun so basically uh the acting of this film it wasn't based on 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 uh, cinematography and 
serious filming techniques but it was just a, a fun project that we just did it was just a moment of just saying guys let's come let's stand behind the camera and let's have fun and and the cast uh we had to allow them to be flexible because 90 percent of the cost that we have on this film it was their first time actually being uh, behind the camera uh for the next projects we are looking forward to doing quite a number of films um there's still ideas though that haven't been written down we're still trying to build them but there's one code the remnant um it is going to be exciting uh, it's going to be something that is very unique um, so we are looking forward to 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 bring more films and and growing and filming and making sure that the world knows christ that's our mission we just want to make sure that the world knows christ so yeah um uh before the end of february at the beginning of march our short film will be released we're going to be putting it on youtube uh hopefully you enjoy it we are looking forward to hearing from you after you've watched our film thank you so much Telling you, girl. Anyway. Regarding your age. I mean, the chairman. Just look at him. He was neglected. He was neglected. Yeah, I never knew what love meant until, until I saw you there the other day. But, uh,